In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can claim or confirm ownership of your Facebook page or business portfolio, which was formerly referred to as the Facebook business manager. I'm also going to walk you through how you can go about filing an admin dispute with Meta if these steps that I show you uh, don't work. But I just wanted to forewarn you, um, I would highly encourage you to do everything in your power uh, to follow these instructions because the process of filing an admin dispute is not the most enjoyable process for you if you're an agency owner or for the business owner that you're working with. Now, I wanted to explain a few things quick here before I go through and walk you through the exact steps and share my screen, because what you see on your screen might look slightly different. And depending on when you're watching this video, um, it might look different since Facebook's ecosystem is always evolving and changing, but the principles of what I'm sharing with you will remain the same. Um, it just might look slightly different. So inside Facebook, when you go to business.facebook.com, um, there is the business portfolio, uh, formerly known as the business manager. And this is a tool that is designed to manage all of your uh, digital assets from your Facebook page to Instagram, your pixels, ad accounts, and more. This is a centralized place where you could also assign or revoke user permissions to your team members um, or agencies. And you could think of this as kind of like your organizational hub or kind of like your wealth portfolio or your bank account where you hold uh, your different assets. Your business suite is a tool where you can actually um, engage with your customers and you can actually um, schedule posts, respond to comments and messages, or just kind of think of it like the operational center. Now, with that said, um, depending on when you log in, your view might look slightly different. But as of the time that I'm recording this video, Facebook is kind of in the process of merging the business portfolio under the umbrella of the business suite. So it'll still be a separate section inside the business suite, but it's nestled underneath, or it will be nestled underneath the business suite. So with that said, um, our initial steps here is we wanna go to our Facebook page and we wanna check who has Facebook page access. So you're gonna go to the top right corner, select your page, go to settings and privacy, go to settings, Underneath audience and visibility, you'll see page setup, and then you'll click page access. From page access, you'll be able to see the different people with Facebook access where you can add or revoke permissions right here. You can give uh, complete control or partial control over different features. You'll see the business portfolio access and whether or not a business portfolio um, or your page is currently nestled underneath a business portfolio. And below, you might see partner access if an agency has access to your page. Now, depending on your situation, the steps might be slightly different. So your Facebook page might not actually be nestled underneath a business portfolio. So if that's the case, we're going to head over to business.facebook.com. And again, your view might look different. Um, you might be inside the Facebook Meta Business Suite. In that case, you'll go to All Tools. From All Tools, uh, you go to Settings. And just as a pro tip, generally, you can get to the right, um, head to the right direction if you just uh, go inside Meta Business Suite if you find All Tools and go to Settings. From here, you'll see the Business Portfolio. And if you select right here, and I don't want to show all my digital assets, um, but if I select here, you'll see if I currently have a business portfolio or it'll show you the option to create a business portfolio. And from there, then we need to go about um, adding our page to this business portfolio. So you'll see this button over here or similarly um, underneath accounts, pages, you'll see this button right here to add an existing Facebook page. And this is if your business already owns this page or you need to own it. So for example, another company created the page for you, but claiming the page moves it into your business manager or business 
portfolio. Now, I did want to mention in order to uh, claim the page, you have to make sure that you have admin access over the page. And I also wanted to mention while we're right here, if you are a marketing agency, you would select request access to a page. Um, this is if you want to run ads for a client. Now, this is where as an agency owner, I've run into a lot of issues because I've tried to request access to a page, but then somebody else um, owns the business portfolio. So the owner can't approve that request. So this leads us to the next option. And what I often see is a former employee or somebody might have created a business portfolio on the owner's behalf, but the owner doesn't have full control as a user on that business portfolio. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps to resolve that if that is the situation. So we can often see right here, um, if a business portfolio owns our page, but we can't see who the admins are on that business portfolio. So in order to try to figure that out, what I've found useful is to go to page setup and from page setup underneath page access, you'll see page management history. And from here, uh, we can often see the people who have the different admin roles. And just through process of elimination, if you've had a lot of former employees and so forth, uh, we can see uh, who might own uh, that business manager. So you're gonna wanna do everything possible to try to identify who that person is uh, because this is your best bet uh, to not have to go through an admin dispute. I actually just recently was working with a client on this one and we were able to identify uh, who the person was that owned that business portfolio and we were able to contact them. Um, one additional tip to figure out who is the person who has full control or ownership over the business portfolio I have in this resource, um, the steps to file an admin dispute. Um, I was able to reach out to Facebook and open up a support ticket by following these steps. And I was able to give them the, uh, the business ID. So if I go to page access and I click view, just wanted to blur out uh, my business ID number right here. But if you give Meta the business portfolio ID, um, sometimes, or at least for me, they were able to tell me who the person was that had full control over this business portfolio. And if you're able to identify that person, you're gonna to want to have them go to business.facebook.com, head over to users, people, and what they're gonna do is they're going to add you. They're gonna add you by clicking invite people and make sure that they give you full control over everything. Once you get full control, you can go ahead and assign the other people inside your business that need to have control and revoke permissions for those who you do not want to have control. So this brings us to the next option. So what if that business portfolio is actually, um, you know, somebody else who might need that business portfolio still or um, an agency, but they own the page. What we need to do is we need to go back and we need to either go to our business portfolio or create a business portfolio. And then we need to go through that same process again. And I keep, um, and by the way, I keep pausing here so that I can blur out um, some confidential information. Um, but you need to then go through that same process again, where you go to your business portfolio, you add the page into your business portfolio, they'll get a notification in, in their business portfolio and then they can approve the request and then you can get access to claim the page and move it into your business manager. And I just wanted to add in the case that a former employee created that, that business portfolio for you, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that when they add you uh, and give, give you full control access, make sure that they give you full control over all of the assets listed. So that's page, 
ad account, pixels, and any other digital managed assets. Now, again, um, I would do everything you possibly can uh, to try to identify who the person is that currently manages that business portfolio and try to contact them. Um, if that does not work, um, then I have in this resource here, the steps to file an admin dispute. So you're gonna follow this link right here and head over to uh, Facebook, um, the Business Help Center. You're gonna scroll down to find answers or contact support. Then it's gonna prompt you to switch back to your personal profile. I highly encourage you uh, to log in if you are the business owner here, or if you're an employee, have the business owner log in from their personal profile, click continue. And it's gonna take the business owner to this page where then you can scroll down and it's gonna say contact support. And then from here, it's going to ask uh, for a little bit of information about your issue. And what I would recommend is you just explain that I am the owner of this page. I would include the URL to the page. And then I would also say um, this business manager ID. So you go back to this business portfolio, grab this ID. And I would say this business profile um, is the owner of my page. Um, this is actually my personal business profile ID. I need to transfer my page to this business portfolio. We are not able to access um, that business portfolio because of X, Y, and Z. You know, it was a former employee or whatever that might be. Now from there, I'll have in this resource, um, the letter that Meta had sent me. Um, they, they want uh, quite a bit of information here. So here's the structure of the letter. You could just fill in um, the different uh, custom values depending on your business. And then here are the documents required for a business manager dispute. So you would have to submit this. And then after you go to the next step, you can attach um, this letter. And it says to gain access, uh, you have to provide the following documents. So you need to at least provide an ID. So one of these um, forms of ID, a signed statement with the following details. I won't read all of them. And then also evidence of the claim to ownership. Um, at least provide one supporting uh, piece of documentation. Now the meta rep that I spoke to also mentioned if a former employee created the business portfolio, it is super helpful if you have the resignation letter from that employee to attach it. And then also when you send the letter, send a very formal letter with like a letterhead with your company logo and just make it look like formal and legitimate. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful and I will include um, a resource below this video um, if I need to update some of these steps and feel free to comment below if you have any further questions and I would be happy to assist.